Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KitBatcher.com, out here today to share kind of a take and experience with breaking in barrels. Recently I had the good opportunity to go out and visit my buddy Matt Yor, Sawtooth Rifles, an incredibly talented gunsmith, engineer, and I think he's probably made probably over 400 custom rifles at this point. And he just finished up a gun and we got into the conversation of barrel break in and how yes it's a thing and yes it's kind of bullshit. So to that end, headed out to the desert and he basically relayed to me how he goes about breaking in a barrel. Matt initially started the process at 25 yards bore sighting. So if you're unfamiliar, basically remove the bolt, look down the barrel and line up the barrel with the target. Again at about 25 yards and then dial the scope so it is also lined up with where the barrel's pointed. And this way easier to accomplish on a tripod if you're shooting off a tripod because you're not trying to adjust rear bags with a bipod up front, something along those lines. But once he felt it's pretty dead on, broke one shot, was right there on paper, and it's time to move back to 100 yards. Then back at 100 yards, breaking that first shot. Initially, seeing where that impact was, again, on paper, because it foresighted initially at 25, and then basically using the subtensions inside the reticle. So looking at where it impacted, and like, all right, cool, need to come, like down three mils, left 1.5 mils. After that, started shooting an initial group. Was it a clover leaf? No, it wasn't, show it to you in a minute. But after shooting that initial group, Again, figuring out kind of where the center was, refining it, and shooting the second group to basically confirm the adjustments that you'd put on the scope. And at that point, like, all right, cool, we got a group. Was it the best group ever? No, it wasn't. Here it is right here. This is the first group, basically the, the uh, I think, second, third, fourth, and fifth shots out of the barrel. Then I switched to this target was doing this this group I think I pulled that one um, that's basically just more rounds on the barrel so me like I can shoot way better than that quarter of away with my Mosin awesome man keep in mind this is a new gun and with that it's a new gun largely a limitation of any gun is the shooter but when you have a new gun it's a different stock a different trigger a different gun. This one happens to be a 6.5 PRC, but don't get wrapped up in it. All we're trying to do is establish a zero, because big picture, the barrel is going to end up changing. But we need to establish a zero with the gun, which was accomplished. After that, it was time to move on and get some velocities. Matt, using a special mount, set up his magneto speed so he could chronograph without actually hanging it off the barrel. So it wasn't going to change the impact of the round. And once that was accomplished, basically, why not have fun with it? Because shooting can and should be fun. So rather than just shooting at paper at 100 yards, why not reach this thing out? So we had set up some steel earlier and lasered it probably about 350 yards took kind of an average speed like off the box, plugged it into a ballistic app just to get kind of a starting point as far as what we need to dial and start breaking those first shots. Again, shooting is fun and depending on the type of shooting you do, not a lot of concrete benches out of doors. So able to explore some different shooting positions off a tripod while doing so. After number of hits at distance, Matt had what he needed. He had his velocities. Five shot average and taking that information was able to then transfer it into a ballistic app. Essentially creating a profile for that gun with that bullet, that entire setup. So that coming out the other side, after he paired it with his crestal, he would then be able to use his crestal, independent of like 
the phone ballistic app and get ballistic solutions at distance. But basically to prove that out, decided to move even further back and do a little more shooting with that gun. Moving back to about 550 yards or so, more shooting. Again, keeping in mind, shooting at like a six inch square plate. Think kind of vitals on an elk or something like that. And with that, why not explore different shooting positions? So going through and initially shooting, getting some hits from one. Nice, good hit. And then moving on and yeah, trying a different shooting position out there. Nice, good hit. Oh. I initially started with, hey, I think barrel breaking is a joke, but it's also real. What do I mean by that? Well, the barrel will change. First, like 20, 40 rounds or so, it'll change a little bit. You're gonna have copper build up in the barrel. You maybe have your velocity increase a little bit. Like, that's a real thing. And we were out there, shot probably about 30 rounds. But people spend a lot of money on a gun and they wanna overcomplicate things. They wanna be like, oh, like I need to do this, like follow this recipe, shoot around, wait three minutes, run a patch, shoot two more rounds, wait five minutes. Like, no man, like don't overcomplicate it. You need to shoot the gun. And while you're shooting the gun, try and get value out of it. Different areas. One, get velocities, get it zeroed. Accomplish both those. And have fun. Like shooting should be fun. So if you're just gonna shoot a bench rest gun, do your thing, man. Shoot it off a bench rest. But if you're gonna do other stuff with your gun, like go do that other stuff with your gun. Have fun with it. Shoot from challenging positions, whatever it may be. But actually get value out of the experience and enjoy it. It doesn't need to be this like strict recipe thing. Big picture, you're gonna shoot bullets through the barrel. So make the most out of that. Not only getting your information you need as far as velocity and zero, but go have fun with it. Or just do whatever you wanna do and overcomplicate it. Up to you, man. But had a great time out there shooting with Matt Yor from Sawtooth Rifles and as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.